For many, The Elder Scrolls Skyrim was their first foray into the open world, freeform style of the Elder Scrolls series. For others, Morrowind was the first time they realized that 3D RPGs could be absolutely epic in proportion and in activities to do. I love me some Skyrim and I've played it in all of its iterations, except for the Switch one, which to be honest, I've been itching to do that one as well. And I agree that it is an absolute blast to play and almost never get it's old, but today I want to argue something I truly believe, that The Elder Scrolls Morrowind is in fact a better game and worthy of your time, especially if you are struggling to fire up Skyrim for the one billionth time. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and that like and leave me a comment for that battle I have daily with the YouTube algorithm. Now let's start with a common complaint against Skyrim and this is that compared to previous entries, don't get me started on the complexities and vastness of their second Elder Scrolls, Daggerfall for example. In general though, the stats were completely dumbed down in Skyrim when in comparison to previous Elder Scrolls such as Morrowind. For example, did you know that in Morrowind, you can make custom spells and enchantments, giving you absolute freedom in creating absurdities to fit whatever fantasy game style you wanted. This doesn't exist in Skyrim. You have a good assortment of options, but you cannot make your own. That complexity is completely gone. Now, although Morrowind does have voice acting and quite a bit of it, Skyrim definitely takes the cake here, offering outlandish amounts of spoken dialogue. But this was costly and meant that the conversation conversation options were way less than offered in Morrowind. In Morrowind, you would have a giant list of things to speak to NPCs about, leading to all kinds of information. And it also leads to a lot of intrigue, wondering, maybe this NPC, if I ask them about this person, they can give me additional information, and sometimes they would. Now sure, most of it wasn't voice acted, but I for one as an old school gamer sometimes appreciate reading some text when it adds a vast amount of complexity lore and options. I know that probably for the average person, walls of text are probably a deal breaker. But for me, a nerdy nerd geek, I really enjoy reading and it's one of the reasons I fell in love with RPGs to begin with. They feel sometimes like you're reading a novel but also getting to carve your own adventure. And Morrowind has enough dialogue to last you a lifetime, especially if you're willing to read. Now, we I would be completely remiss not to mention the fantastical atmosphere and environments in Morrowind. Although, by the way, I do love the aesthetics of Skyrim. There is something dreamy and alien about the land of Morrowind. A new kind of fantasy place that was just so enchanting and full of mystery. The lore of the Dunmer that lived there is hateful against outlanders or people not from Morrowind. And I really enjoyed that you truly feel like you are out of place and trying to carve out a life and a reputation in an unforgiving land. This sometimes makes it much darker but also more rich and opportunity opportunities and motivation for the player, in my opinion. Then there is the fact that Skyrim is sometimes a bit too accessible. It's difficulty dialed down, and that means you as a player have less fear to explore any random cave, temple, or crypt. And I get it, that makes it easier for more people to enjoy it, no doubt. But quite selfishly, for the hardcore RPG fan that I am, I have to admit, we can take a beating and feel underpowered, which empowers us to go out and level up and return later and feel that rush of endorphins, as we can now conquer what before felt impossible. This is something that Morrowind does extremely well, where Skyrim is just a bit too forgiving. Also feel that Morrowind is practically, infinitely more immersive, due in large part to less hand-holding. In Skyrim, you can follow your quest markers directly to wherever you are supposed to go next. But in Morrowind, you have to take note of what NPCs say. They give you directions, and I remember literally writing down what they said, and going off of landmarks, and feeling like I was really out there in the world trying to explore these places and it was insanely rewarding. Although this is so awesome, I do understand the new stance, but I think now with Elden Ring out there in the world, we have a lot of evidence to support that less hand-holding is so much more rewarding to the player. And it's the mega success of Elden Ring is hopefully a wake-up call to Bethesda. And I don't mean for them to release the Elder Scrolls Skyrim No Handhold Edition. Please, I, that 
that's definitely not what I mean. I just hope that they take some of the lessons of Elden Ring and apply them to the next Elder Scrolls game. The exploration of Morrowind has no equal, in my opinion, because after it going into oblivion is when the major handholding began. Discovering a place that an NPC had told you about and then uncovering a deeper plot and knowing that you stumbled upon it or found it, sometimes being confused if it's the main story quest or perhaps a side quest, it's just so much more of an experience than following a quest marker could ever be. And those feelings are still relevant today. Now, although Morrowind is more complex, I would be a moron to actually sit here and say that the combat is better than it is technically in Skyrim. Morrowind is much more of a traditional RPG, relying on dice rolls in the background, and although I love this way of doing it, Skyrim definitely has the better combat. But I think with technology today, we should absolutely be able to give the next Elder Scrolls a complete RPG feel with the player freedom offered in Morrowind, but with great combat, of course, improved upon. I don't want the same combat from Skyrim. And with the great voice acting, but with more options, I think this is completely possible with the technology that we have today. And I have to also admit that after, even though Morrowind, by the way, came out on the original Xbox, that was wild, by the way, that that was even possible. I couldn't believe it. As a matter of fact, that's when I decided I'm buying an Xbox. If it can handle this gargantuan game that is Morrowind, and my PC kind of sucked at the time, could barely run Morrowind, so I got an Xbox specifically to play Morrowind on it. And But after that, they decided to start making these games from the ground up to be console games. Now, when Morrowind was made, it was made to be a PC game. Now, I'm not sitting here trying to play the elite PC gamer kind of strategy here or anything like that, although it's true. I do have to say that, and you have to be able to admit, you have to be able to admit no matter who you are, that making these games from the ground up for consoles is probably a large portion as to why things got dumbed down. Now, it was to great success, and it really helped the Elder Scrolls series to get better, improve, and get more sales, and I'm that was a great decision for them. Real quick before we continue, I want to give a major shout out to the members of Napalm. Thanks to their contributions, I can get the equipment and gear that I need to keep this channel ticking. Covering MMOs, RPGs, and of course, puppets. If you're interested in becoming a member of Napalm, please click the join button down below. It would be greatly appreciated. And a very special major shout out to the Lords of Napalm. Bounty Code, We Toke Bitcoins, Jared Woodhouse, Dimelos, and Farthest Reach. Thank you for your highest tier membership. Now onto the video. But we do live in a different age, right? Where with the PS5, with the new Xbox, you can get more PC-ish. And I think that the console players have proven that as they've gotten a lot of PC releases. And I just feel like make the next Elder Scrolls for PC, make it for that audience, and then, you know, Release it also for the consoles, of course, but design it for the PC player with more complexity, with more time investment, because I think that's a large part why after Morrowind, things started to feel dumbed down. I think it was because they were thinking of consoles during the very earliest day one of development. But anyway, guys, let me know your comments down below, hitting that like button, and please subscribe if you're new here. We do cover RPGs, MMORPGs, and even tabletop RPGs right here on the channel, and thank you for checking out my rant about Morrowind. I truly love this game, and I would love to see Morrowind get re-releases, remasters, etc., because I think it deserves it. I don't think it will probably happen for a really long time. They need to buckle down, make the next Elder Scrolls anyway, and quit doing re-releases, but I would love to see it also. And I know we have some fan projects coming, like Skywind, where it's Morrowind recreating the Skyrim engine, and that's awesome, and I hope that that does release and is exciting as it seems like it would be or should be. But anyway, guys, that's all I've got for today. I hope you enjoyed the video, and until next time, God bless, and happy gaming.